What the Whoa. hell? I know some of you guys get the whole element of the cold. It's gonna shrink. This whole thing right there here is frozen. Look at the frost. You can see the frost here. Oh my God, I didn't even think it's gonna be that easy. Whoa. It's crazy how science works. All right guys, so look what we got here. 1980, 81-ish. Here's the VIN. I'm not one of those guys that go look at this thing and could decode it, but it's about an 8081 PK Ripper. Really good shape. The dropout is really healthy. It's really straight. It's not, it's not all completely eaten into. But we got a big problem here. We got a seat tube that is stuck. Customer wants us to get it out. So I'm going to show you the different ways that we're going to do it as we go along and try to get this thing out. Right now, this thing is stuck to just pull out. We try to kind of put a vice grip on there and get it out. So this thing is really, really in there. There are several techniques that I have tried throughout the years. You guys are gonna go and take this journey on along with me. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're gonna put some lube into here. Trusted TriFlow. Guys, you won't find any other lubricant in here besides TriFlow. TriFlow, hook us up. We're gonna go and we're just going to let this run. This is a very good sign. When I put this thing in right here, you can see the oil. It's beating on top and it's slowly running down. So that means it's going in. So what's causing this thing to stick is a lot of time, whoever the end user had this thing, they put it down and it went down too far. Guys, believe it or not, down here when they do all the weld, all the frames after they do it, they ream this thing out to make sure it's round, but they don't go all the way down. So a lot of time the seat posts go all the way down and it's real small down there and it gets wedged down there. One of the first culprits, but we will see as we go along. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit, okay? Five hours later. So now that we let it sit for about half an hour, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap this thing. Not too hard, guys, because you don't want to crack this, okay? The reason why I'm tapping this, I'm trying to tap in every single angle because what that does is that it's going to make this thing move and it's going to get the lubricant in there. It's going to break it loose. This is just the first step, guys. Doing this a little bit and just keep letting it soak in. I'm going to let it sit here a little bit longer and I'm going to come back and tap it a couple more times and we're going to give it a shot, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this thing down and see the little hook? It's gonna slide down, and it, as soon as it, it hits the bottom, it's gonna hook it. So we'll give an idea. So I'm gonna slide down. Right there. See it hooked to the bottom. Put my finger right here. Okay, so the seat pose is right there. So that's a good sign. It's not all the way down here, it's not wedged. So that tells me there's something going on right here. But guys, this is an aluminum frame. This is a steel seat post. The steel is not gonna rust together with the aluminum. But with a bunch of gunk and aluminum building up just, you know, sentiments and all that stuff. You know, it gets all crusted so it'll fuse it together. So what we have to do is we have to break it open. But if it's right here, it's a very good sign, guys. Ethan's putting together a Dave Mira 540. Comment if you guys want to see us put together stuff like that kind of do a little build-up you do then we'll do it But I just thought you guys wouldn't care. I personally do it's a badass bike it's an iconic bike Remember don't hit it too hard guys. You don't want to break this. It's been probably about an hour You got the oil in there. It's permeated in there uh, We've determined that the seat post it doesn't go all the way down it goes right here. So now how do we twist this? There was the classic one where you could drill a hole into the seat tube and turn it. But the reason why we don't want to do that is because judging by how thin this thing is, right here, I think it's gonna rip. So what we're gonna do first is a trick that I did. Guys, the stem is clamped, what? 22.2. 22.2. So what we need is something to hold it. So we're gonna take a stem, tighten this guy up. You either put a fork or you put a pipe in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn. You're gonna turn it. Okay, it's not turn it off. I'm gonna give it a couple of little good taps. All right. I pretty much have be beating the crap out of this thing. And it is not budging. So, got a couple more trick up my sleeve. I didn't want to apply heat to it first at, at the beginning because this thing's aluminum. 
If it's Kromali, I know it's going to be a little bit, it could take a little bit more. And these PK Ripper frame, they're always prone to crack around that area. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to get this thing super hot. I'm going to get it to the point where it's, it's uncomfortable. Did, did you hear it? You can hear a little crackling. So what I'm assuming is happening is that the aluminum is softer than the, the steel. So when I'm heating that up, it's, it's actually expanding and releasing it. Yeah. That is gnarly. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys heard that. We don't want to crack this. Max had like a Bill Nye moment. He's saying, hey, why don't we go up to the store and get some dry ice? I've never tried that before. So I think what Max is saying is that we're going to submerge the seat post in dry ice. So it gets super, super cold and the cold would climb up it. And then we're going to warm this area up. And hopefully it's so cold. It slides out. It, 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 it just separates a little bit. And all we have to do is hit it. We'll be right back. Okay, so Max got the dry ice. So what we're doing is we're putting it into the seat, the seat post. Look at this. This thing is so cold. Oh yeah, boys. What you got? Got some more dry ice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You use dry ice to fix whatever they did to his hair? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Despicable me. Yeah, he really does. Okay, so you guys notice my hair is different from yesterday. So it comes to comes to find out that the dry ice thing we did yesterday, when I set my fro, we didn't leave it there long enough. We thought we left it there long, but we went and we looked up a couple of YouTubers and all that, and they go, "No, you gotta leave it there long. It's pretty much freeze that 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 tube, and then we slightly heat it up." So. We got more dry Look at this thing. Look at that thing just squirting up. Whoa. Hey, they must have froze your hair because you're looking that fresh. <laughs> no, dude. They, you know what? They, like, they cut the side too short and then whatever. We're back from Swamp Fest. Our bikes are looking a little ragged. So I had to come do uh, some maintenance. Don't mind up. Wow. So, you probably have pounds of dirt. So guys, here's the setup again. We're going to do it like what you guys saw yesterday. What Whoa. the hell? <laughs> That's a terrible noise. We're going to feed this seat post more dry ice like what you guys saw. So we're gonna wait for it to drop to a maximum. Then we're gonna heat this area up and we're gonna try to hit it out. Are you putting alcohol in that way, dude? Yeah. Is it gonna blow up? No, it, this is how you make like, you like freeze stuff really gnarly. We're gonna break into little bits so that we could, we could put it inside this post. I have gloves on this time, not the other day I didn't because it actually burned my, my finger because this is actually really cold. Knowing your track record, you've never worn gloves. <laughs> no, but that just tells you how much, how hazard this, this is that I'm willing to do this. 10 bucks for you to lick one. No, no, not even. 20? Not even 100 bucks, dude. A thousand. <laughs> no, dude, touch, hey, touch one. No, I'm good, I'm good. Have you ever touched? It I mean, burns, no? No, no, hold it, hold it, ah. <laughs> hold it. No. It was actually it came good because this is this is the kind of stuff we would rather do with him. Some of you guys comment in. It's actually more fun with Alf here, right? He's usually the fuel to all the problems. <laughs> okay, all the troubles. He's, he's I'm a catalyst guy. for fun. Yeah. Oh no. Listen, while you're on your knees playing with ice, you shut up. It's fun to you. <laughs> you got, you so, gotta, guys, <laughs> so we're just gonna keep feeding this, keep feeding it, and we're just gonna let it sit. And then there's gonna be like it's we're gonna freeze this this too. You can see it's getting cold already. No no no, oh, it did that it did that yesterday too. Look at this mixture I just made. Is I'm that broccoli? seeing if it's gonna explode this broccoli. He's doing that while I put you. Wow, it did. It shattered it. Yeah. yeah. Max was meant to be a chemist. So uh, have any of you guys commented in? Have you seen anything so extreme? I know some of you guys get the get the the whole element of the cold. It's gonna shrink the uh, the seat post. And in the warm frame, it's going to expand, so it's going to separate it. Have any of you guys ever seen anybody go to the extreme? Give me this. There was a guy that, that commented in and said, don't buy stuff from, from these guys because take the sticker oh, out of the yeah. baggage. I know you probably come to the store. That jacked up because you know why? Look at all these stickers. These are free stickers, bro. What are you talking about? We steal the sticker to sell it. I don't need to go and steal stickers, okay? Hey. For this guy out the audacity. And if you know you don't like it, you can come here. You know where I'm at. <laughs> don't be going around saying, saying trash like that. But when we open a package and there's like an Odyssey sticker, we just throw it there. So you know what? I'm pissed off. You know, screw you, all right? Okay, back to this. Look it, guys. 
Okay, guys, look at that thing. Five bucks to look at. No, oh, no, not that little scar. That's a burn from yesterday. This whole thing right there here is frozen. Look at the frost. Dude, could you zoom into that? It's crazy. You guys have to be here to see. You could feel it. You could feel how cold it is. Just my hand out on the outside. So, so what I read was that we gotta let the actual material reduce down so cold that it's gonna get as cold as the dry ice. So we waited the, the uh, amount of time already. As you can see, how the tip of this thing is starting to, to get warmer. So this is a good sign that it's maximized the, the coldness. You can see the frost here. So that, that goes and gives me, I don't have a thermostat, so that's gonna tell me that the seat post and all that, it has went as low as it can, and it's as cold as it can. So now what we're gonna do was we're gonna lightly heat up the frame. Okay, <laughs> I actually had a thought that maybe it's so cold and the fluctuation of the frame is just gonna just crack. If it does, I'm pretty much assed out. I'm gonna have to pay the customer in the back, so I hope I don't mess this up. So we're gonna warm this up, and while this thing's warming, we're gonna flip it out, we're gonna try to hit this again, and it'll come out. You think it's gonna work? You don't think it's gonna work? <laughs> Go, let's see. Come on. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Moment of Back truth. Away. Real quick, real quick, okay. Moment of truth. Mm. Oh, dude. Mm. Oh my God, I didn't even think it's gonna be that easy. <laughs> that literally just slid out. Whoa. It's crazy how science works. Whoa, God, feel this. Ow, feel this. It's warm. It is warm. No, dude, dude, feel it. Feel this. Feel this. Look thing. at the stem. It's <laughs> ice cold. So guys, wow, Ethan. I haven't seen him this happy since the dude, birth of you. Two hits. <laughs> oh, he wasn't happy. And I was around for that. <laughs> hey, Ethan, two hit. It no, seriously no. fell out. Yeah. That shit came out. Dude, look at the look at the stem. It's still frozen. Oh wow, this thing's cold. I wonder if I hit it with a hammer if it was shattered. Damn. Try it. I can't <laughs> Real quick. It was so oh, no. freaking. Hit it hard. Oh. Oh, you can try to make it shatter? Yeah, dude. So guys, guys, it worked. So basically, yes. So whatever I read was right. So that thing was so cold that it shrunk. It shrunk the the the, the seat post. It shrunk it enough that when we slightly warmed this up, this thing was, wasn't even that hot. It was just enough to reduce. I'm blown away, guys. There you guys have it. There you guys have it. Phil Nye, the Asian guy. <laughs> That's that for Look, not damage at all. Oh man, I am still, guys, that sometimes you have to try it repetitively. I'm gonna say like the oil that we left there overnight, it also helped. But definitely, guys, oh my God, I am blown away. There, guys, there you guys have it. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Alf, what do, what, what'd you think? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's what I like. Dude, you know what, you know, I'm, I'm so glad you were here because if we did it yesterday and you weren't here, I don't believe you. Yeah, you wouldn't. He would not have believed me. He would. He would have come. But yeah, guys, keep supporting us so we could do more wild videos like this and discoveries. There, some of you guys, might, this is not a discovery. Yeah, this is a discovery for us. So like. One small share. step for you. It's really small. Really small. <laughs> Subscribe. You guys go on the last video and read that. Read that comment. Okay, comment it in. Hey, you know where to find me. You know the guy talking trash. You know where to find me. All right. I'm gonna take some of this dry ice and I'm gonna freeze your balls, all right?